all right guys so just a quick video to show you guys where the rock drakes are on fjordor they're not that hard to get to you do need a hazmat suit though first time i ran in this cave when i first found it the day the map came out uh yeah i ran in there without a hazmat suit so here's the entrance to the portal so i'm on the midgard side now well, what you need to do is you need to go to the asgard side the asgard realm so let me show you midgard here's the portal 40.5 57.5 that's how you're going to get in here i recommend i uh, cut a little part out there i got stuck on the wall no need to show you guys that back and forth but uh, if you're gonna use a rock drake, walk them in here. Don't don't try to glide unless you don't accidentally hit the wall because uh, if you hit the wall, you're gonna be bouncing back and forth. But anyway, so you go in here. You're gonna go to the middle portal. This is the Ad Asgard portal. All you need to do is access it. Click that button, double click it, and then activate that portal. And then you're gonna go to Asgard. Now, like I said, you need uh, you need hazmat suits. You can get everything you need to make hazmat suits on Fjordor. Um, there is blue crystals, red crystals, or excuse me, blue gems, red gems, green gems, or everything here. Crystal, polymer, organic polymer, everything you need is on this map. This is the best map they've ever created. And the reason I say that is because they put so much resources, so many dinos from all the other maps, and all the other mod maps, they don't do that. So um, that's why I think this is the best map. Let's see if they leave it that way. Now I'm on the Asgard side. If you haven't seen this, this is what it looks like. Um, I did this in my little tour, a couple of tours I had. But um, we are going to go to what looks like blue trees, I guess as you could call it. And in those blue trees, there are a lot of R dinos. So from Genesis 2. And then that's where the rock drakes are. So just follow the path I'm going here. And you don't need a rock drake, but I'm telling you, in this aberration area where the radiation is, um, I'm guessing, I haven't tested it yet, but you probably do need a dino that can take the radiation. So you want an aberrant dino, and there's aberrant dinos all over this map. So um, there's some in a couple of the caves on Midgard side where you get the nameless venom, which I'll post a video on that too. There's some aberrant dinos in there. I killed a couple of aberrant spinos. But it is just right in this corner here. There is a cave. And I'll give you guys a quarter as soon as I get to it. And this is really not hard to do. Now, there are so many rock drake nests in here. I'm telling you, there are just tons of them. There's probably 10, uh, 12 rock drake nests in here. I didn't count them, but there's a bunch. And every one of them had eggs in it. It was crazy. So here is the coordinates. I am at 41.8, 49.4 and that is where we are so we're just going to go in here and put my hazmat suit on because as soon as you get a little ways in here you will start taking radiation damage and if i remember correct as soon as you make a turn that's when the radiation starts uh, it's about right here yeah so we're just going to head down here it's not a long cave um and I, I've been in here a couple of times. There's usually nothing in the little tunnel until you get to the uh, open area where all the rock drakes are. But there's a, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of nests in here. So I just want to show you guys where the entrance is. We're not going to deal with all of it. Um, and I'll post another video kind of doing a little tour of the cave with, with more eggs and more nests. But I just want to show you guys. So here we are. We're in the opening. And as you can see right there, there's a nest right there. And I'm already fighting a rock drake. So let's go ahead and beat this guy real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get some eggs. And I want to show you guys all the nest locations in here. Um, I did another short video where I just ended it right here. I would show you guys where how to get in here. But I want to show you guys there's multiple nests in here. I mean quite a few of them. And my rock drake I'm on is uh, one that I bred. So it's not a very high uh, melee one yet. I haven't been working with it yet. And I did it so I could send it over here to fjord ore and level it up some i haven't done that yet this is one i got on aberration so so there we go we got rid of that one pretty good level i think that's a 170 or something like that so there's another one right there it looks like 25 let's go ahead and kill that and grab this egg and then we will this one shouldn't be too hard to kill but i'm telling you there are just so many nests in here and this is so easy to get to uh, once you get your rock drake leveled up enough and you can kill all these guys down here, it's not a big deal. Um, but, like in Aberration, I just kind of outrun them all and sometimes have to fight them. But in here, you don't got you got to fight them because they're gonna they're gonna swarm you. So I'm gonna just grab this little low level 20 and we're gonna get out of here. And then we're gonna come back in and I'm gonna raid more. So they're gonna they leave me out. I, I fight them in the tunnel, come back in here, and then I'm back in again. As you see, I flash forward and I forgot I can't glide with a torch on so. 
So there's a nest on the left, nest on the right, another nest on the right. There's three right there, as you can see. And I'm being chased by a couple of rock drakes. Let's kill these guys. Got to take them all out so I can show you guys the rest of these, but um, quite a few of them in here. Yeah, it takes a minute, so there you go. There's one of them. Oh, the 130 or something. That's pretty good. There you go. Is that a 180? Wow. Anyway. So nest right here. Go ahead and take a look at this one. Let's get up in here and eh, not not that good, but I'll take it. It was a hundred, so I might as well take that one. In case I don't find a higher level one. There's another one right here, and here comes another rock drake. Two more rock drakes. Three rock drakes. So now I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. Comes the fourth and fifth one because I took that egg. So my rock drake's taking some damage. So I'm just get out of here for a second. If I can get out. There we go. I'm gonna jump up here. And we're going to get away from him real quick. I don't need to fight him. I'm going to outrun him. And so I went in the back here. As you can see, there's a couple more nests back here. And I just killed a low level one. That was weird. But there's a nest right here. Go ahead and check this one out. Are the rock drake coming? They're coming. I'm about to fight them. I can't outrun them all. Yeah, let's just take these guys out. I'm going to have to. They're not going to let me raid these nests unless I kill them. So there were four of them at that one point, maybe five, but I got away from them and these two followed me. So go ahead and take these guys out real quick. go all right now let's get over here and check this nest out and see what's in here pretty cool area there's another rock drake coming let's kill this one first Come on, just die already. There we go. Alright, so now, let's get in this nest here. I think that was the last one that was right in this immediate area. If I grab another egg, I'll get swarmed again. So I'm going to make sure it's a good one before I grab it. I'm not grabbing no low level again. You see my rock drake's pretty beat up, so. Having a little issue, sorry. But these nests actually work now. They, uh... A lot of the mods and stuff that use nest and put rock drakes back on other maps like Valgaro and stuff, they're all broken right now and the nest don't work, so. But Wildcard did make these work, so that's cool. And that's too low, that's like a 20, I don't want that. Let's check out this next one. I got a few minutes because I killed them all, so. And that is a 25. We're not grabbing that. I don't need another low level. Like I said, it's going to be higher. I'm not going to grab it. Let's walk back out a little bit towards the front. And I just want to show you guys this real quick. This is why I opened the inventory and left this part in there. I got no meat from killing and eating those rock drakes. I only got this stuff. Just a bunch of garbage. I think they're glitched. So they do have the nest working. But boy, you get no meat from eating them. So you can't really come in here relying on getting meat to heal yourself. So make sure you put meat in your rock drake before you come down here. Because for some reason, you're not getting meat from killing the rock drakes. All right, here's another nest right here. Let's check it out. And that one's too low again. So we're not going to grab that one either. Let's move on. Let's head across here. Get out of here. And then we are going to go to the right here. Instead of going straight, I'm going to go to the right and see what's over here. At least it's a big circle. So once I kind of figure this out and orientate myself, it's just a big loop. 
And there's eggs all the way around. See, there's an egg right there. Let's swing around and get this nest. Hope I can grab it real quick. Uh, let's see. Ooh, 175. We'll take that one and then we're going to get out of here. But guys, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so I want to show you where you get the nameless venom for the rock drake. So here I am on the GPS. Here I am on the map. There's a cave right down there. As you can see, I'm glitching all over the place right here. It's really weird. They're right across from the volcano. So we're going to go in here. And I'm going to land right by the entrance and I'll show you. And there is a, the best way to harvest these guys. I'm going to show you. But here we are. 56.9, 84.9 is the entrance of this cave. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out. Let's get in here. This is where some of the aberrant dinos will spawn. So this is also where the portal is to go fight, uh, I believe, the Broodmother or the Megapithecus. I can't remember which one it is. But uh, I'll, I'll show you when I get to it. So we're just going to walk up this path here. And what I'm looking for is, you can, well, first off, there's some gems here. And as you can see right here, blue gems. So there's your blue gems if you're curious where the blue gems are. So let's walk up here and find the Nameless Venom Rocks. There are just tons of these guys in here. Well, not tons of rocks, but tons of nameless venom. Let's kill these uh, ravengers real quick. Don't want to mess with them. Make sure they're all dead. They are dead. All right, let's move on. Put my light on so I can see. More blue gems. And there is a rock right here. So what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. I'm going to kill this first. Something got me. What got me? I'm guessing that was a Perlova. Huh. What the heck? Yep, Perlova. An aberrant Perlova. Okay, anyway. So, here is the rock. It's these guys right here. So, I'm going to show you three different things. Number one, I'm going to hit it with a pick. You can see I get one nameless venom per. So, you can keep doing that. That's pretty much what you're going to get per strike. Let's use an ascendant mining drill and let's check it out. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's see what we get from this one. I got 14, not that much. So let's go in here a little further and let's find another one. And let me show you the best way to get these because it is not uh, a pick or an ascendant mining drill. Let's see, there's some more stuff here. Kill that. Let's kill that aberrant spino. And I'm sure you could use that spino in uh oh there's a carno too. You could use an aberrant spino in the rock drake area if you wanted to. Prefer to take my rock drake in there. Go ahead and jump down here by the portal. This is just a big circle. Uh Carquina spawning here, as you can see there's one in front of me real quick. He's gonna come, but let me show you guys this real quick, so let's just see. This one is the Megapithecus, so this is the monkey. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this crab. Organic polymer, about a tons if you need them. There you go, just eat those crabs. Tons of organic polymer. All right, let's go find another rock. There's one right there. And these guys here, these red gems? Yeah, red gems. There you go. Here's another rock. So here's what you want to do, guys. You want to use a Dodecarus. And I'm telling you, these guys are amazing when it comes to harvesting nameless venom. Let's check it out. Here's one of the rocks right here. Let me show you guys what my melee is. It's only 535. Let's go ahead and put a couple in here. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and up it a little bit. So now my melee is 622. All right, so let's go ahead and swing at this rock. Bam! 41 nameless venom. Look, there's another one right there. And my server settings for harvesting are not turned up that far. But there's 40 more nameless venom, guys. So I just got 81 nameless venom from two of these rocks. Venom, I should say. I keep saying venom. But uh, let's go ahead and pull that out. Look at that. Bam! So you got plenty of... Uh, Nameless Venom on this map to raise Rock Drake. So there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, guys. And I will see you next time.